The U.S. soccer president, Sunil Gulati, will not seek a fourth term, announcing his decision two months after USA failed to qualify for next year's World Cup. I spent a lot of time thinking about it and talking about it, with people in many different positions, many of whom told me I should run, Gulati told ESPN on Monday. But in the end, I think the best thing for me personally, and for the Federation, is to see someone new in the job. Former national team players Paul Caligiuri, Eric Winolda and Kyle Martino are among the candidates to replace Gulati in February. USSF Vice President Carlos Cordero also is running, as are Boston lawyer Steve Gans, New York. Lawyer Michael Winograd and Paul Lapointe, Northeast Conference Manager of the United Premier Soccer League. Kathy Carter, President of MLS's marketing subsidiary Soccer United Marketing, is considering a bid. This is the right move, said Martino on Monday. It's an indication that Sunil has recognized a need for change, and he can now focus on the 2026 World Cup bid, which is critical for the growth of the game in the U.S. The 58-year-old Gulati has been a driving force in the USSF for more than 30 years. He helped put together the successful bid that brought the 1994 World Cup to the U.S. and worked on the logistics of the tournament itself. He also was deputy commissioner of major league soccer from its launch until 1999. However, he attracted criticism as the U.S.'s bid to qualify for next year's World Cup ended with a tame defeat to Trinidad Tobago. The tournament in Russia will be the first time the U.S. has missed a World Cup since 1986. The loss to Trinidad was painful, regrettable and led to a lot of strong emotions, he said on Monday. And to be honest, I think at this point, that's overshadowed a lot of other things that are important. So far or not. I accept that and think it's time for a new person. Gulati was a unanimous pick in March 2006 to succeed Bob Contiglia, who served two terms. Gulati replaced Chuck Blazer on FIFA's executive committee in 2013 and continues to serve on the renamed FIFA Council. He also is chairman of the joint US mexico canada bid committee hoping FIFA will pick North America to host the 2026 World Cup.